It has been a long time. Why are you shouting? Please don't shout. You're a good boy, okay? Hi guys. Uh, it has been long. Ooh, it has been long. <laughs> I don't even how to. I don't even know how to introduce myself or speak to you, but. Hmm. I hope I'm back. I will not say I'm back again because videos I've done videos saying I'm back, but Sijakipio promise. So now I'll try as much as possible to always be with you. Thank you so much for sticking with me. We are growing and I decided to just keep on keeping on. It might be hard like right now. I don't have a nanny to meji beba. But I am just nangangana, nangangana na life na put after msiana pia. So I'm hoping for the best. Actually, but guys, I'm always brave to get a good nanny. Nasiya ngato na ishina nanny four years, five years, ten years. I don't know what I don't do right. Okay, come. Siju ni nini sifanyi right? Ama siju tu ni benye watoto ni. Oh, aeroplane. So as you know, when you are too new, do go. So people get tired so fast. But I always try to make their life easy. Where? Uh, uh, so today I'll just share with you. I'm with my boss. One of my bosses here. Now when I zungusha, when I zungusha. So let me. Now when I'm up here, I'll just share with you a random day. This is just a random video for a random day. Nika feel I wanted to catch up with you guys so it has been a struggle oh, yeah. it has been a struggle now it's jam what is it what do you want me to do what do you want to do? okay what do you want me to do give it to me give it to me then what do you want me to do okay oh you want to get down no? sour sour So my boss has decided that we are going to we are not going to work. We are not going to mop. To nenda ku I think he, he wants to sleep. So what I name Lalisha? No ni malizane na story ya ku clean clean how. It's a struggle yo, it's a struggle. We? Oh, we are here, let's sleep. Time to Time to sleep. Time to Time to say sleep. Okay. Do you want to watch? Do you want to sleep? You're a good boy. Come and sleep, baby. You are my best. You are my best boy, okay? Come and sleep. Come. It's time to sleep. You need to rest. My good boy wants to sleep. Rain, rain, go away. Come again, Anna. You just want to stay. I have just cl finished cleaning the house. It has taken me like two hours <laughs> to clean. And my boss could not sleep. So right now, then I go wash some little clothes. So now, actually, I... I as I'm washing these utensils, I wanted just to rant. I don't like complaining. I don't like regretting, but well, let me into issues. Uh, how's that? I'm feeling like I'm so tired. I am tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. By the way, I live so well with my house girls. I don't, okay, Sijui, missing to Akelele. We will talk, and I always appreciate someone who talks and explain themselves. But sometimes, unapatanga, they take you for granted because they know after all, you don't always just talk to them. But a scenario that I had, this last one, eh, got me so scared. Now, this lady was very okay. We, when she came, she was a, a full, full liver. I normally go for at least those who are, who are so because of my kids. Who are just learning how to read, write, speak in English, blah blah blah. So I always get go for someone who at least has your knowledge. When you have struggle. So now this girl came one month, one uh, one month ago. So then 
student that can I have zuri everything was okay and then uh, when she came she didn't have a phone so I decided to let me buy her a phone so once I bought uh, after around it was after a week the phone got lost so on a Friday I'm at work and I'm trying to call her to reach out to her she's not reachable hey, I got so worried so when I came back I was like I asked where the phone was. Then I was told in Mezima. Nikamwambia, hey, keep on charging the phone at night so that when I'm leaving, uh, we do not have someone is calling. Sorry, someone called me. So now I told her I'm not comfortable when I'm leaving, leaving you your phone off because sometimes you, you're remaining here. We need to communicate. One week passed, she's not searching because the reason as well I'm saying she wasn't searching is because I have a one and uh, 1.8 years kid who of course can take the phone and misplace. But you see, place and is a misplace ni chini kitanda, ngunda ni manguo, you get. So I told her, please try searching. Until one of the days I told her, today don't do anything, do not wash. I want you to concentrate searching for the phone. I want you to arrange the room as you search for the phone. Food I had cooked for lunch, so today is just searching for the phone. When I came back, she had done nothing, completely nothing. Like she just arranged like few clothes and that was the end of it. And she said she had searched. So... I told her, get serious, because by the beginning of this week, that was an Friday, I needed to have a phone. And I'm not buying another one. The line register under that name, the line register is under my name. I need that phone. Ebu kumbuka lata ulienda inje, ukaisahau dukani ama ukafanyanini. Ebu jaribu kuitafusi. So this girl, I can remember that I didn't see any effort. Hi. Coming on Sunday, we left very early in the morning for a meeting. Kutoka hizi, by 7, we left by 7 in the morning. Kutoka kidogo, at around 9, our neighbor called. So, when our neighbor called, aka upigia baba yao, aka upia, baba watoto, aka umbia. Kuna, your girl has run to my home, at an asemba kuna mtu, ameingia kwa compound, I am a gate at all. Hey, we got worried and we left where we are. We were to Kapuja. Kufika, we got a very terrified lady, Shekhe, trying to ask her. She said she was in the kitchen washing utensils, then someone knocked. Now, before, there was someone who was in the compound at Kitengeneza gate. We had requested him to come. And then, after that guy, while that great man was here, our kids were picked by a, a good neighbor to drop them for church class. So, all that day, to Kauliza, at what time did it happen at when the guy who was fixing the gate left? Uh, so, this guy was outside, the doors were closed, and he's asking me to open the gate and you went to open the gate. Were you not scared? Because I said, I need to if I want to be safe, I open the gate. It was around nine in the morning. So we were wondering if this guy can skip over the fence at a panda, ama what will have happened. But anyway, we say God is good because never, nevertheless, yeah, yeah, you go safe na mutoto. Then we called the guy who was fixing the gate to Kamuliza. Kwani, what happened? Did you let someone in the, to enter the compound when you're here? Were you with someone? After from here, this girl, while I was fixing the gate, I called Maliza Kufua. Na alikuwa mekujia meka, penye nini na tengeneza gate. She was just seated there. So I went back to pick some tools of mine, na some tumors. Then I could see shower in a run. Then we told this girl, I told I asked this girl, are you really alone in this compound? Ama kuna mtu hatini kopeke yangu. Tena kamkumuliza tena mara ingine. 
Huko peke yako ati. So this guy akasema hapo anataka kuingilia sana. Cause alisema ai kwa roho yake anajiuliza kama huko peke yake kwani ishawa ina rana aje na nini. But akasema yeye alijua kama ni mtu anafikiria angeenda aulize mbona huyu anauliza hivyo but akuuliza that is something that le- left us with a lot of question but tukasema god is good they are okay sasa that day ndio tukamuuliza do you feel the need of having a phone right now you have to meet the neighbor what if they were not there hmm? what if so you have to look for that phone now today you have to look for the phone so this girl hakanza kulia hmm? she was crying so bad she was crying that we have told him nikamuliza ukiambiwa utafute simu why are you crying why are you crying do your best so that we understand okay umetafuta simu imekosa sana Then we let you, we now search and understand ile hotel ya wapi. Nikasema, "Wa, who then?" You know, my instinct ikaanza tu kuniambia vitu vingine. Oh. Nikasema, "Chani achane na hiyo story, hiyo simu haiko, wherever it is, sawa." Sasa tukaka. On Monday, I had a meeting that I could not even postpone in the morning. But the, the previous night finally enough. <laughs> Sorry I'm not a good storyteller. I don't know if you are connecting am I keep on jumping jumping or skipping. But that morning I left. Ah uh, that night that on Sunday night that we got to Mombana, nikamuuliza. Nikaona bag yake amepack. Nikamuuliza madam unaenda? Anaambia hapana siendi hiyo bag iko tu hiyo. Kwa mimi baga inanga mangu but madam tell me the truth you want to go I will let you go if you want akasema no I don't want to go nikasema let me nikwambia na kuomba siniachie watoto kwa nyumba nika prepare I'm very sure I really risk me risk kwa watoto but I had something that I really had to attend to at home so Nika make sure nimeme sure wengine wameenda shule nikamwata nikaenda job kidogo nikamwita Simba because I could not stay settled nikarudi hiyo nikimjua wazee tumekuwa na yeye hapa na my mind is not settled even at work so coming on Wednesday I came late I went to see my sister in the hospital na pata all day Ame nikaingia. It was around 8. I came late. Nikaingia kwa compound. Then baba hao wako wamefika. Yakafika. Akanipi akaniita. Akaniuliza, did this girl tell you she wants to leave? Nikamwambia no. But as I can see, she wants to go because her bag was packed from Sunday. So I'm just trying to organize myself to pack a bag. Nimeambiwa I'm found someone hapa nje nikiwa pikipiki ameniambia alimwambia akuje amchukue. Nikasema akuje amchukue acha mchukue saa ngapi? Hata hii usiku at between saa 5 usiku saa 4 na saa 5 usiku. Nikamwambia basi nimeshinda kwa rumi yake hata ajaniambia because when I came back I normally go talk to her mmeshinda aje nini? we make stories but you see kwa hata kunembe kitu yote but what was strange is that alilala na trouser na sweater na everything but i didn't even take it so seriously so then tukaambia huyo mtu oh my husband anasema akaambia huyo mtu uweze kuchukua a uh, good luck she was ringing she was knocking the wrong door i think aliambiwa tu akasahau so she was knocking the wrong door so my dad did not come to help us to knock akaen so the next morning we pia siku lala that night i didn't sleep i kept on checking on my kids and all that so then uh, in the morning we just told him the rider that you asked to come and pick you is here your rider alikuwa sister 
bwana sister yake kaambia he came but we could not release you at night so now it's your time to go she just stood there looked at me and then she started packing then later on she left later on while i was mopping the house and arranging the kids room where i got a knife and a path that was next to her bed i got scared so it scared me uh, okay my boys brought the knife they are the ones actually who got the knife because i had sent them to look at to look for something so they needed a path to step on waka ah, kinde mom this knife in our room then i picked this knife i never thought so much i was like what what is this knife doing then i thought my boy normally get to the nini kitchen and fix things run with them my younger one can it be that it took them I didn't think so much because I eh okay. So uh, this is risky. Then I took. Then the other ones left and the dad was taking him to sleep. Then in a pile of bed sheets and all those uh, blankets, he was trying to search for something to cover him. He only to find another smaller knife. The first one was big. Actually, I don't know where it is. Let me show you. Let me show you the knives. So this was the first knife that was found under the path. This knife is a bigger knife. Then in the bed sheets these were the knife the first three bed, uh, bed sheets these were this was the second knife well now i got terrified i was like oh my god oh my god what was this girl planning like how living at night was she going to cause her chaos before she left well my heartbeat started racing i could not do anything they can't have to scare fever hmm? Because I was like, what was she going to do? Was she going to kill herself? But of course not, because someone was going to pick him, her. So it was not him, her going to kill herself. Is it my kids? <laughs> but then I got scared. I really got scared. Until, Nikajiudiza. What wrong did I do? You know, now you come back to yourself and start asking. <laughs> is asking this girl to look for her phone a problem and then also trying to understand how the thief got into the compound while asking or interrogating he was it a problem are you just supposed to shut up what because now she was feeling she's accused that she opened the gate now anything we tell her you're accusing me i opened the gate where do I look for it? I've told you the phone is not. And she's responding back. And anywho, she left. And that makes me so scared. By the way, I'm going to let her draw. What you doing your power? Okay, guys. The struggle is real. My thoughts are wild. I've been thinking a lot. I don't know what not to think and what to think. But I trust in God. Where God hey, maze, I don't know what will have happened, but I just thank God. I thank God. This simple prayer that you pray. Because I can imagine at a year I came back to the room. There was nothing so big I was doing in the room. What I was just doing was to look for clothes, ya kesho, ya watoto trying to find out how they, are, they have spent the day and all that. I didn't notice that. I came to notice that at that, kumbe tuliko tunaongea kiwa hata haja change to sleepwear. Kumanisha she had an intention, she had not slept, you get. Eh, mungu, mungu ni nani? It is just God anyway. Anyway, right now I'm looking for another one. It's got another journey. I'm trusting God for that day I'll get a good man. Not good per se, maybe I'm, I'm the bad one, but maybe I'll get someone who will understand me. 
otherwise bye bye i have complained a lot <laughs>